five ten five, the elk home, all that felt good. I slipped a little bit on the five ten five, but I think all my times were about where I was training at and just where I want them. Question: Do you get to talk to the scouts over here? Do they interact with you guys much? Uh, you know, we'll talk to them in between drills a little bit, but um, but I don't. I think I don't know how it's going to work post pro day. How everything's going to happen after, but they just talk a little bit throughout the drills to us. How'd you feel in the anger throws out there? The throws, I felt, honestly, I felt really good. Um, the timing was where it needed to be. The balls were where they needed to be. And uh, my footwork felt good. So, uh, you know, we'll see. It's not my judgment call. It's theirs. But it felt good. I feel like you did everything you could do today to whatever may, may it be. Yes, sir. I felt like I gave everything that I, that I have. And I hope that I get an opportunity with one team. Who were the guys you were throwing to? Um, so there are two kids that I train with at Apex on Huey oh. Street. Yeah. From Once I found play. out. Um, one played at Benedict and one played at ECU. Okay. Michael, what do you bring to an NFL roster? Um, I bring accountability, a hard worker, a team guy. Um, so, you know, if you want a locker room guy, I, I try. I assume from what everyone tells me that I get along with everybody. I bring a really positive energy every single day um, that, you know, everyone tells everyone that uh, positive energy is contagious. And then I'm a hard worker. You know, I, I never miss meetings. I'm always early and I'm always doing extra work. So. I'm going to be that guy who's in there doing everything that I can to, you know, better the team and better myself. What do you think a long college career like the one, you know, you had can do for an NFL franchise? You think? Uh, it just brings a maturity to the game. You know, you learn so much, especially playing in the SEC. You get these defenses who, you know, they're, they're you know, a lot of those guys are NFL caliber players, and you play against them and you practice against them every single day. And so I bring, you know, maturity to the game, a knowledge of the game, um, and a calmness about myself. What was your favorite part about today? The favorite part, honestly, just being in front of the scouts and, and performing and being with a bunch of the guys that, you know, they've all been training in different states, so seeing all those guys and hanging out with them a little, little bit long before they all go off to their NFL careers is awesome. If you don't get an NFL opportunity, do you try another league? Or what? Uh, I would talk with my family about that. It would definitely be an option, but I would also, um, law school is, is the most likely course, but I would definitely consider another league. What do you think your strengths are? Strengths, uh, accountability. Uh, I put the ball accuracy. I put the ball where it needs to be. Um, I'm a team guy. You know, it's having a team guy is always good to have in your organization. Um, you know, I'm always going to be accountable for the or hold people accountable, um, and I'm always going to be that guy that you can talk to about anything. And uh, you know, I would hope to say that I'm a guy that everyone likes, and I try to get along with everybody. So I'm a locker room guy as well. Mike, this is a stressful process. Just how do you kind of manage to keep yourself, you know, poised and encouraged throughout this whole thing? Uh, my faith. Um, so, you know, obviously there's a lot of nerve and there's a lot of stress, like you said. But the more and more that I've been talking to friends and people and, and mentors, and you know, the Lord's got a plan for you no matter where the, the path may lead and just trust in him. So that's that's been real calming for me. Have you talked?